Dave, Rob, thanks for joining us on the Player Diary. No While well, you've got a quick cup of tea, who, who made this one? Uh, Rob made this one, yeah. Uh, things are looking up in the world, obviously. I was uh, fed up of drinking tap rainwater, so I thought I'd better step in and show him how it's done. Rob's actually got seven tea bags in there. Yeah. It's, uh, it's never strong enough for Rob. That's good. It seems to be a bit of a feature for you, Rob, because you seem to have a one as soon as you get to the Twickenham on a game day, is that right? Uh, yeah, sometimes do. Well, we just get there quite early, don't we? A good sort of hour and a half before kick off, and some guys get changed straight away and crack on with the preparation or whatever. And whereas I'm a little bit more relaxed, I guess, and get a quick brew in and then get things going. I've perfected my timings over the last <laughs> ten years or so. But uh, no, yes, yeah, so if there's a if it's available, I'll probably have one. Yeah. Don't join him, Dave. You got other things on it. Yeah, other things. Right. I'm much more professional with how I how I. Uh, <laughs> Prepare for a game when I, when I get there, straight in the gym, some priming weights, getting the body ready. Absolute lies. <laughs> I've never seen you do weights once. It's because you've never been in the gym. True. <laughs> you guys have been in the, in the gym this morning. Um, just outside the gym, there's somewhere, it's called the Scrum Garden that Graham Roundtree's talking about. Tell me a bit about, about that and what goes on there. Yeah. Uh, sounds a lot nicer than it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sounds idyllic. It's not. It's just an, an area of, uh, of kind of synthetic turf that we're not going to destroy with all of our repetitive scrumming and mauling and that. Uh, it just it's a, it's a nice spot right outside the gym, um, so we've got a little bit of dedicated mm. nosing space. Extra day day off at the start of this week. What did you get to, Rob? I uh, had to go to a christening, went to uh, future nephew-in-law's christening, which was uh, a lovely morning. And my day off consisted of uh, changing nappies. Um, I think I changed seventeen. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's very hydrated. Our uh, our Jess. She, uh, yeah, yeah, just spending a bit of time with uh, with the baby and the missus. Is it easier to forget about the defeats when you've got something like that? Is it? Is it? Does put it perspective? a lot to perspective. Yeah, I got. I got to be honest. Like, obviously, we gutted with the result, and the night, the night after the game, Saturday night, she she was a bit tired, and she was she'd kind of saved it all up for us. She's been kind of the dream baby till then, so she saved it all up for us. And you, at about three o'clock in the morning, when you're kind of tapping away, you, you yeah, you've completely forgotten about the game. So it's nice to get away a little bit. How long do the defeats last for you, Rob? How long does that anguish <coughs> remain for? Yeah, I think it's just a continuous sort of process, isn't it, really? You've got know, that initial feeling of being very very down, very frustrated, and then you sort of try and look for positives in games, but also the work on. So it's, it's constantly, you know, you never just forget about it. You just, your emphasis on whether you're looking for negatives, looking for posi positives probably changes throughout the week. When does the squad put it to bed and move on to the next challenge? How long do you spend reviewing the, the previous pretty, game? Pretty quickly. We'll, we'll, we'll spend most of uh, our first day back, so normally it would be a Monday, but the bulk of the review stuff is done done today. We can't uh, we can't sit around and dwell on it too much because there's another massive task this weekend and another one the week after, so you can't uh, sit around and dwell too much. There's new things to do. Finally, tell me what it's like having so many bar flats around here. I think you had nine at one point at the start and six or seven in at the moment. What's that like? You know, it's great for the club. It's good to have that recognition that uh, we had a good start and the boys put their hand up. But, uh, uh, you know, in the same breath, I think it's important that when you come in here, you, you sort of park that I play for Bath or I play for Leicester, I play for Saracens, whatever it may be, because, you know, you've got to, you've got to get this team functioning and um, the emphasis then goes, you've got to get to know other guys that you don't know, you know, such as, you know, George Cruz has come in and uh, it's the first time I met him a few weeks ago and, you got to spend time with those people. What sort of things do you do to get to know people? Obviously, you're playing rugby a lot, but is he cups of tea? Does that come into it at all? A few yarns over a real yeah, brew yeah, goes a, a long few way. Cups of tea, sit by the fire, a bit of a uh, bit of an earwig. But mm -hmm. yeah, I think we we work in in quite specific groups. So, like Webb just said, the first time I probably met George as well. Um, we'll sit down with Tom Wood and Courtney Laws, and we'll we'll have some meetings, kind of talking about lineups, and then. We'll get a bit of time away. They've got some some team rooms where we'll we'll play some play some video games, with a bit of darts, a bit of pool, something like that. Try and try and kind of interact with the guys a bit more. And it's as uh, as that goes on, you get to know people. Yeah, it's also just seeing what he does on the rugby field uh, and, and him for for everyone else. He's got to get used to how people play and and sort of that's part of the challenge of coming to this environment. Is you need to quickly pick up the sort of triggers, for want of a better word, of what people do. You know, if Owen Farrell's running to the line or George Ford's running to the line, what's he What's his triggers, and the quicker we can pick that up, as well as you know, what a guy's best story is, then it's then it's all the better. Cheers, guys. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers.